Happy birthday to me! Yes, today is my birthday. Give me some love. Every year I just adore celebrating growing one year older, wiser and more confident. So I've made a list of 15 game-changing lessons I've learned in the last 15 years. Here we go. Tidying up is never a waste of time. There is no place like London. I would severely recommend, if you don't feel at home in the city or town where you live, to go find your own London. Adopt a new home. It's totally possible. We are all deeply selfish people with deeply selfish motivations. That doesn't mean that we're evil. It just means that we all have our own personal agenda and goals. And that's okay, as long as we acknowledge and respect other people's personal agendas too. When God was in her best mood ever, she gave us tofu. Reading novels isn't just a way to kill time or entertain ourselves or escape reality. Reading novels is a way to understand ourselves better and to connect with the world. Stories have always been a way for us humans to kind of make sense of this confusing mess of a life and to make it less scary. And it's by far the best way to satisfy an over-curious brain. Nothing makes us use our imagination more than reading fiction, I would argue. Fear causes fear, hate causes hate, and love causes love. It's a total cliche, but boy is it true. So be careful what you put out there. I used to think that we humans are all more or less the same. We're not. Oh man, we're so bloody different from each other. There are a lot of people out there who drive me mad, who I just can't understand or communicate with. Doesn't mean that there's something wrong with them. Doesn't mean that there's something wrong with me. Just means that we're different as hell. Makes the world a more interesting place. And more frustrating, but totally fun. Fried Green Tomatoes is the best movie ever made. If you haven't seen it, you have not lived. It's pointless to be scared of failure. We all fail at tons of things all the time. Worrying about it won't help. On the other hand, when we do fail, learning from our mistakes is one of the best ways to grow as a person and become more skilled, more interesting and more clever. If you never fail, you miss out on the best learning experience of your life. Don't underestimate the power of physical pleasure. Good food, a back rub, a relaxing stretching session, a hot shower or, my personal favourite, a proper thigh massage. If you're having a hard time or a bad day, step one is physical pleasure. The quickest way to a happier everyday life is, in my opinion, to treat your body well. Eating a shit ton of fruit and veg is a way to chemically help your brain to be happier. Plus, it makes you feel good about doing something for the planet and everyone on it. It's called mood food for a reason. Okay, let me know what you think of this. Happiness is learning how to see the difference between situations where you should dig in your heels and not ever give up and situations where you should just throw in the towel and walk away. In opposite to what we're constantly told, some of my happiest moments and best decisions have been when I've simply just given up. Another day God was in a really good mood, she gave us Terrace House. Seriously, if you haven't watched the best ever reality show on Netflix, you need to get on this. We will never, ever, ever feel beautiful as long as we keep pointing out all of our flaws to ourselves. If you find someone as glorious as David, you sink your teeth into them pronto and you never let go. Trust me on that one. You haven't forgotten, right? That it's your girl Jenny's birthday today. Here's what I want as a present from you guys. I mean, if you're offering. David and I love our podcast, The Masters. Those of you listening already know what a fun and supportive and loving community that has grown around that podcast. And we want more of you to hang out with us every Monday morning, starting the week out in a happy and positive way. I will leave a link to one of our most appreciated episodes about being the sensitive, strong personality type, like I am. Seriously, so many of you have messaged me about this episode, so thanks to all of you who are listening every week and getting involved. That's it for me. Time to go celebrate champagne and strawberries and making out with David. That's the plan. You in, babe? Yeah. Love you guys. Puss, puss. And get at this for down to me. Yeah. Why? Because you were interesting uh, and, and fun uh, and uh, a bit angry. <laughs> Perfect combination. That's exactly how you want your women. Exactly. Interesting, fun, and a little bit angry. Yeah. Boy.
boy, did you get more than you bargained for, David? <laughs> yeah, I did. Fucking and yeah. you regretted it to this day. 